Before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So, for today's video, I just wanted to do a little thing on Reactivate here. Uh, five different topics that I myself am very intrigued and excited for uh, when this game drops and just when we get more info and more footage and more trailers. So this is just going to be five things going down the list. There, It's in no order whatsoever, so I don't think I'm like prioritizing things from stuff that, I re that I'm really interested in to like stuff that I'm not really interested in. It's just whatever going down the list. So with that out of the way, let's get right down to it. So number five here, I am really excited to see what game figures we're going to get from this. We do have a listing for Studio Series Reactivate Lifeline, but outside of Lifeline in the two uh, packs that we've gotten, we don't have any other listings or confirmation on any other Reactivate figures coming next year. So I don't know if there are going to be ones and we just don't know about them and we just don't have listings for yet. Or the rest are coming in 2025. I have no idea. But I would love to see a Megatron, obviously, to go along with Optimus. Hopefully the Megatron is just as good or maybe even better than the Optimus. Because it feels like we're just sorely missing quality Megatron figures. It's like every year, every corner you turn, there is some awesome Optimus Prime that Hasbro was dropping within the Generations line. Whether it's Studio Series or regular Chug. And when it comes to Megatron, yeah, you get a cool figure of him here and there. But it's nothing like the Optimus Prime figures. It's nowhere near the amount of effort and just great sculpt and transformation and articulation. So I just hope this this uh, Reactivate Megatron, if we do get a figure for him, is actually really dope. Uh, I other characters I want to see, there's been leaked cast members of potentially Maximals and Predacons, maybe appearing in the game i think there was also a look at hot rod i think shockwave and some other characters i'm forgetting about so i just really hope we get as many characters as possible from this game because a lot of the designs look really cool and futuristic and just something different that we haven't gotten in transformers in a long time uh you know the off-road vehicles with all the armor on it it just looks really cool and militaristic and post-apocalyptic which uh judging by the rumors and the leaks that's basically what the game is about so just getting as many characters as possible y'all know me i want my man jazz to get a figure from this game my favorite Transformers character of all time. He needs to appear in this game. I really hope he does, especially with the news of him appearing in the Transformers 1 animated movie next year. It would be so fitting if he also appeared in the mainstream Transformers game that is coming out around that same time. Even though we don't ever have a release date yet for Reactivate, it could be next year, it could be 2025. We honestly have no idea right now. On to number four. In terms of the gameplay features, I've been thinking about this a little bit. What kind of maps they could do you know the power upgrades because we just had that leak for bumblebee's power upgrade yesterday which i covered in a video from yesterday so go check that out if you haven't already seen it um what weapons you can choose from if it's going to be similar to the gimmick with the weapons from the war for cybertron and fall of cybertron games you know just all sorts of stuff with the energon maybe that's somehow you know linked to the power-ups that characters like Bumblebee are going to receive in the game. Just those gameplay features re are really pivotal in a Transformers game, in my opinion, and I really hope they come up with some new ones and just very innovative, intriguing, very involved game features that, w that really get you hooked into playing this game. Now moving on to number three, in terms of the story, the plot, the canon, whatever you want to say for this game, there's really a lot we don't know. We know it's post-apocalyptic. We know the Autobots and the Decepticons potentially join an alliance to fight off the Swarm, whoever that's going to be, whether it's the Quintessons or some random air alien race from space that we don't know about. We do have rumors of the Maximals and Predacons potentially playing a role in this game, but again, we have no concrete confirmation on any of that. 
So I just really hope this story is something a bit different than what we're used to. And judging by the little rumors and hints that we've gotten here and there the past couple of years, it seems like it will be. Um, it would be cool if they did delve into the Quintessons. We really haven't gotten a lot of Quintesson action, especially in recent media. So it, it would be nice if they delve into their story and their own race and history behind that and how they're involved with the Transformers. But again, you're guess as good as mine on what the story entails other than it being post-apocalyptic within i think the setting is in new york city right so post-apocalyptic within new york city the rest is up for debate and discussion now for number two the main villain who's going to be the main villain of this thing is it going to be some sort of quintesson overlord or something or is it going to be some sort of new alien race related to the swarm the leader of the swarm i have no idea is it going to be somebody within the within the decepticons or predacons the the vast amount of characters and villains they could choose from from the transformers universe is is insane it's pretty much just as vast as the Marvel and DC universe, if you're asking me. Uh, so I just hope it is a dope villain that maybe hasn't had a lot of, you know, stories in canon for that particular character in recent years. Maybe they could bring in somebody like Straxus or Jaxus, um, Dreadwing, some other major Decepticon overlord, like Overlord himself you know, uh, but that's just Decepticon villains. We don't even know what the swarm entails, who's going to be the leader of that organization or alien race, whatever the swarm is going to be. There's just so much left open for interpretation right now at the time of this recording that we could just, we could just speculate on everything, basically. Like, we basically know absolutely nothing about this game, especially in terms of the story and the characters. Now, for number one... The characters in this game, now I have talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, but the characters in this game, who the hell are we going to be seeing other than the ones that we already know about and already have figures for? Um, you know, there's been the leaks for Hot Rod, Shockwave, Ratchet... Uh, a few other characters that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, there's the rumor of the Maximals and the Predacons appearing in this game. So who knows if that really is true. And if so, what characters are they going to pull from within the Beast Wars universe to include in this game? There was the rumor that I talked about yesterday that is Transformers 1 trailer dropped on Twitter about a Transformers Prime character being in Reactivate that is going to make us Transformers Prime fans really happy. And a lot of people People and myself included are speculating that he is hinting at it being knockout so if knockout really is in that game that just adds to the cast and how vast it could be and possibly will be so i just really hope we got a, a diverse and vast cast spanning from you know all sorts of eras of transformers from g1 beast wars unicron trilogy animated prime all sorts of stuff. I am open to all characters appearing in any sort of media, especially ones that haven't gotten a lot of limelight in recent years. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the top five things that I'm looking forward to for the Transformers Reactivate game. I really hope we find out these things soon, and I really do think we will, especially since the figures have gotten officially revealed and they're up for pre-order right now. So here's hoping we get a trailer soon and more story details and more info on the characters characters and the gameplay features and hopefully at some point soon in the coming months or coming year or two we get more figures for this game more characters that we haven't had a figure in the generations line in a while all that good stuff but um yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know let me know down in the comments below what are y'all most excited for for the transformers reactivate game all my social medias are linked down below instagram tiktok twitter facebook all that good stuff my email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to hit me up about whatever or if you want to commission a diorama from me because i make dioramas for people for their stop motions photography or just regular display shelves in their homes you could either hit me up on any of my social media or just email me and we can work out a deal but yeah guys thank you for watching this video i'll catch y'all in the next one bye